Hi everybody, this is John from USA Mondo. Welcome back and thanks for watching. If it's your first time on my channel, as always, welcome. Do you still need to fill up form G325A? If you want to answer for that question, stay tuned and I'll be right back. USA Mondo. If you are somebody who is on uh, on doing a petition for your spouse and uh, you know that you're gonna fill out form G325A, right? Well, that form G325A is no longer required. I'm gonna show you um, what you can do now to fill up your spouse biography because uh, since uh, April, uh, past, uh, this past April, April 2017, Man, you don't you no longer required to fill up that form on G325A. So I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do. So come over my shoulder so I can show you exactly what to do. Like I say in the introduction, you no longer need to fill up form on G325A if you petition for your fiance or spouse. So we know form G325A is for is a um, biography uh, information form that uh, you need to submit uh, along your form I-130, which is petition for relative. So since April of this year, you no longer uh, need uh, that form uh, G325A. So in this video, I'm going to show you uh, which form you, you're you going to need uh, to provide those on uh, biography information. Uh, you go to USCIS uh, website, click on forms, and then click on I-130 petition for relative. So you see this page right here, and then on this page you see form I-130, you see instructions for form I-130, and then form I-130A. So this is the form uh, you need to fill out. Uh, this is the form basically that will, that, will, uh, that is replacing uh, form G-325A. It's called Form I-130 A, Supplemental Information for Spouse Beneficiary. So in this video, I'm not going to show exactly how to fill it up. I'm just going to show you basically uh, uh, how this, forms, uh, this form looks like. So basically, this is how the form look, uh, looks like, okay? And uh, this is the form you're going to fill out, you know, sign and date and submit a and submit this on uh, along with your former i1 on 30. so i'm going to have another video and show you exactly how to fill this on uh, this form that's it for today's video i hope you guys love it learn something from it if you know somebody who might benefit from this video please share this video with that person also if you want to see more video like this one right here all you gotta do is subscribe once again, my name is John. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.